What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here from the Disney Podcast. In this episode, Victoria is going to be sharing her first thoughts on 1900 uh, Park Fair. Is that what I said? Was that right? I think yep, that was it. That was it. <laughs> I was just before, and I'm like, going, I was like, I'm going to be honest. You can let me know now, sort of, where is this? Where is it? Because I knew nothing about this place until you said it before about it. Well, it's actually in the Grand Floridian on the first floor. (laughs) That would be right. That's the place that usually I'm on the boat, just like looking at going, "Mm, one day. (laughs) (laughs) Like someday. Someday I'll be part of that world. (laughs) Someday, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm I'm in a holiday in outside. (laughs) So what's it like there? How does it work? Because obviously now you, you you can go and you can make reservations to eat anywhere and you can go try it all out. So what was it like? Uh, well, I've only ever been there. Last time I went there was a few years ago uh, for breakfast. I actually went for dinner for my friend's birthday. Um, basically, from it's different from last time. You have to go all the way, basically all the way to the back of the lobby, take a left, and there's a foyer where you wait where you guests have to check in. Uh, we came a little early, like 10 minutes or er- no, 20 minutes early, and then as soon as we were told we were going to, wait to be seated. They called us and told us we were going to get seated. So so that would took like three seconds. We went in. It's very big. It's very opulent, mm-hmm. which is to be expected, of course, of Grand Floridian. We, and as soon as we walked in, Cinderella and Prince Charming are just waltzing. And I'm just like, yes, yeah. I'm here for this. <laughs> <laughs> so the expense. <laughs> Sorry, just like, yes, it's worth the money I paid. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just a, a very awesome buffet. I Like, I loved everything i ate there okay so um in terms of obviously it's quite a grand sort of roughly kind of as a ballpark what's kind of the, the buffet price um off the top of your head, well, you well my friend was a cast member so oh, right, yeah. i so we got a discount um price for the average adult is 47 Yes, yeah, so, including yeah. and this includes tax and gratuity. Yeah, so it's that kind of thing. Um, I mean, obviously going to buffets and stuff. Um, generally, they usually they can be a little bit pricey. Um, I'll be honest. I don't think I've actually. I'm just trying to think if I ever did one in Florida. I know I did them a lot in Paris. Um, we had quite a few different options in Paris when I went last time, where we could use the buffets and stuff. But the idea of kind of this whole thing about resort hopping and going to different resorts and stuff, it kind of. I know it's nothing new, but it's kind of in like. To me, it still feels like something that's that is pretty new, and then kind of as the food in each of the resorts is getting better. And you know, I was having a discussion with a friend the other day about you know that idea of like going to eat and stuff. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. Sometimes if you you know if you're there on holiday, you know, this is very much like Disney fans knowing it, and maybe locals and stuff. But your general tourist probably hasn't got an idea that you can go in any restaurant or any resort and just like you know eat in these places. Um, that's actually true. Like I've worked with a few guests, and they really didn't know that there are actual restaurants, like in, like on Boardwalk and and in the Grand, that you can just you don't have to have a park ticket, but you can just make yeah. a reservation and eat it. Yeah, I mean, which this, is yeah, really I mean, funny. it is that kind of thing as well of just like the idea of going to these resorts and stuff. Um, I know, like last time we were there, we actually did, we did walk over to the the, the riverside and stuff, and I think one day we did go. Um, you know, we went to like the broad walk and so we had to walk through the hotel to get there. But I think that again was for me like, you know, being on the internet and kind of starting to know about this kind of thing. Um, but a friend of mine, she literally, you know, they last time they went for a couple of weeks, they went there in so many different locations because, you know, and then we're talking about like, you know, when they go next time, you know, the idea of like, okay, each of the kids can pick one place they want to go and eat in all these resorts. And it's like, you know, the idea of that is still quite kind of new to me. But obviously, from you, you know, you can you can go and try these places. That obviously, live in there now. Yeah, I've um I've done way more options than I would have like when I was living back in Maryland. Like I've done Beaches and Cream, Olivia's Cafe, and these are all resort like restaurants mm-hmm. that I it wouldn't even dawned on me because you know as a person that's visiting, you're more so focused like focused on park restaurants. Yes, yeah. and not also like, you know resort. Yeah, and also that kind of thing as well. Usually, you know most people think of resorts as you know you maybe eat there if you're tired and you've gone back or you can't be bothered to go out kind of thing or 
you know, or we'll just go back to the resort and eat there kind of thing, rather than, oh, we'll go to a different resort and eat because it'll be different things. Because, you, you know, there is that thing you don't sometimes think like that. But, you know, as far as, like, this park fair goes, um, what were kind of some of the highlights from the buffet that you kind of, that people on your table and stuff really kind of enjoyed? Yep. They just had such an awesome variety. They had, like, Mongolian beef stir fry and green beans, mac and cheese, like all these different kinds of soup, steak. Like they had steak, and I was like, "Good lord!" Um, yeah. ma- like all different kinds of mashed potatoes. Like it, it was. Yeah, the, uh, it was amazing. <laughs> well, I suppose as well as that things where you are paying that much more of a premium. Obviously, the location is one thing. But, you know, like you say, having steak and Mongolian beef and all that, you know, you are paying a higher premium, you know. Um, yeah, maybe for a family of four, it might not be something, or a large family might not be something you want to do. But maybe as a couple or something like that, it might be a nice way of kind of enjoying some, some decent food. And also probably with a knife and fork as well. Oh, I would definitely <laughs> say if you're like a couple that just recently got engaged or married, this would be the best place to go because... Um, it is also character dining, so mm-hmm. when you do dinner, you get Cinderella, Prince Charming, Lady Tremaine, and the stepsisters, whereas when you go for breakfast, it's more so like children's characters, yeah. so it's like Tigger and Pooh and Mary Poppins, Mad Hatter, Alice, those kinds of characters. Yeah, so, sounds good. I mean, it's definitely nothing. So from there, can you like have a, do you have like a view across the lake? Not where I was sitting, no. though, but I, I want to say there was a window yeah, yeah, I'm almost certain there was a window, but I couldn't tell from where I was sitting. We were kind of put towards the front door. Yeah. It's always that funny thing is, like, I always think back to, you know, when we were kids and stuff and we went and you saw the hotel and stuff, you know, staying on site was just something nobody ever did. Nobody ever stayed on site because it was massively good. Because that was, like, one of the only hotels they had. And it was always that kind of standing joke about seeing that resort and going, oh, my, you know, they got their own monorail thing. And I suppose that's the other thing. Is that you could catch the monorail there very easily and, you know, or, you know, catch the ferry and stuff. If you're maybe on your way out of the park and you, you've left early or something like that, it could be a good option. I mean, I first, I mean, if you're staying, like, for a week, like, if you're coming from overseas, I would definitely say, you know, it's, it's something worth doing at least for breakfast. That's what yeah. I feel. Yeah. So it's that kind of thing, like you say, of like, it, it's it's kind of worth doing, but maybe not going too far out of your way, um, unless you, especially maybe not on your first visit. Oh, no, I wouldn't do it on a first visit. I would maybe do it like at least third visit. But it was definitely an experience. I personally liked it, especially the strawberry soup. My roommate kept on telling me about the strawberry soup, (laughs) yes. I said the same thing. I was like, strawberry soup, okay. Yeah, that's just just jam, isn't it? I don't (laughs) know what it is, but it it wasn't bad. It wasn't nasty, so I really did enjoy (laughs) it. It's just saucy bit of your ice cream or something, yeah. Um, Yeah, strawberry soup. Yeah, I've never heard of that one before, but... You know, that's kind of different, but um, yeah. So that sounds like it was like you know definitely a good a good um, place to go and eat. And like you say, you know, you do have the option now. You can go try these different places out. Yes, and I definitely recommend other people try to like. Don't just stick to the parks. Try and go to other resorts too, because you never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, and don't just go to the McDonald's on the drive through on your way for, for way out if you need it. <laughs> exactly. There are, there are other options and stuff. Though personally, you know. It's that thing as well of, because um, I think a friend of mine, she was, they were told about like Hawanas or something like that. It was somewhere that they wanted to go try and um, they wanted, to, you know, the, the kitchen sink somewhere else. You know, all these different things that are definitely oh, yes. cropping up and stuff. <laughs> so definitely worth, you know, having a look around. Maybe if you are going, maybe you're going out to the beach for the day or you're going to the water park and you want something to eat in an evening. You know, have a look at the resorts. Um, and see what um, options in the restaurants are there because you could get a different kind of experience and you know eat somewhere maybe away from Disney Springs or your own resort or anywhere you are or International Drive or whatever but sounds like pretty cool anything else you want to add on that before we end up on this one um try the strawberry soup I mean I, I was pleasantly surprised by it <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend it yeah so that sounds sounds interesting on that note guys thank you very much for watching or listening be sure to check us out over at thiskingdom.com. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. You can also hit that um, subscribe button on the audio platform of your choice. Um, Victoria, where can they find you? 
They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. We should see you guys soon. Later. Bye.